Yo, what's good, YouTube, man? It's Gary from Turn On Fan TV, man. Back at you another video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe on the videos, man. Let's get to today's topic. Uh, just so you know, it's Thursday. We're going to talk about the injury report. And it's kind of a mixed bag. There's some good on here, some bad on here. So let's just get right into it, all right? So uh, Rashad Bateman and Odell Beckham, both DMPs back-to-back -back days. Um, Gus Edwards is full. He's been full the whole week, so that's great. There was some worries about whether he will come back from the concussion this week. So he, he's on track. Kyle Hamilton and Justice Hill were both limited today in practice. They were both, um, excuse me, uh, DMP the day before. So that that's good to see that back on track. If the Ravens can get Justice Hill back out there on the field, that can be really big for the offense. I think that, um, you know, Kenny Drake had a good long catch and run or whatever, and then he ended up fumbling. We know that part. But I think the Ravens did miss Justice Hill's kind of um, shiftiness in the backfield, things like that. So um, if they could get him back in this game versus Cleveland, um, I think that's a very, very good sign for the offense and um, can help out, help some smooth out some of the things in the passing game, right? So, might about that. And, of course, Kyle Hamilton, I mean, had three sacks, you know what I mean? So, probably the best game of his career last week. So, you know, definitely want to see him out there, you know, continuing to play. Uh, Marlon Humphrey, DMP, both days. Ty Linderbaum, uh, limited both days, all right? So, let's talk about Marlon Humphrey real quick. Um, I don't know when Marlon is coming back. Uh, you know, I, I guess nobody does at this point. It's all about, you know, when, when he feels right. But there's, he's always, it's always Instagram story with Marlon Humphrey seem like he's coming back. I think Odafi always had him on his, uh, his IG. Marlon screaming, he back, I'm back, I'm back, you know. I don't know. Uh, hopefully that he'll be back soon. Maybe they're still trying to wait it out. It's, he's not 100% right just yet. Uh, but I would have to imagine that he's close, you know. He, but, you know, when you see a back-to-back -back DMPs, you will have to imagine unless something drastic changes tomorrow that Marlon Humphrey is not going to play in this game versus the Browns, okay? All right, um, Linderbaum, the Ravens had the, the offensive line issues that I was worried about the previous week um, kind of came to fruition uh, last week. So I was worried about them versus the, the Bengals. They played great off the O-line. Uh, those issues that I was worried about came came to the forefront versus the Colts, right? Uh, they just not picking up pressures, things like that. Then even Sam Mustafer had a bad snap, right? Bad snap that went in Lamar Jackson's ankles. Uh, seemed like a miscommunication. Lamar didn't even call for the snap, and the snap was just back there, you know what I mean? So that's on the center right there at, um, in, in that point in time. So um, Linda Bond could come back. That's big for the offense. That's big for Lamar Jackson. He's comfortable with that's his center. That's one of his that's, that's like his partner in crime right there. You know what I mean? Like the quarterback center relationship is very, very important. If Tyler Bump can come back, that's big news, right? All right. Um Odafe Owe and David Ojabo, both DMPs back to back days, and like they're gonna play this week as well. The Ravens, we talked about this during the offseason that the Ravens were putting a lot of hopes. I don't say hopes and dreams, but it'll put a lot of hopes in that this young pass rushing duo could step up and, you know, be and be great together. Right now, when they've been on the field together, they, they've been fine. But the issue was always that the best pass rush teams around the league, they have waves of pass rushers. They just don't depend on two or three guys. They have four or five, six guys that could come in constantly and rush the passer. The, the Ravens were kind of in a way where. If what's happening right now, if Odafe Owe or David Ojabo went down for injury, they were going to be scrambling for an answer. Now, part of their answer is signing Kyle Van Noy. Part of their answer was signing to David and Clowney a while back as well. Those two guys, I would, I mean, I don't know if Kyle Van is going to start, but you got to imagine he's going to play a lot or at least somewhat on Sunday. Jadavion Clowney is going to play a lot. Um, so, you know, at least guys like Jeremiah Moon, like they had Tavis Robs out there on the edge as well. So, the Ravens' plan is kind of like the outside linebacker this year was kind of like the wide receiver last year, where it was like you were one injury away from being insufficient at that spot, and it's happened. You know, I mean, now it's two injuries to the top two guys that you need to stay healthy. Hopefully, those guys will come back soon. All right, um, Ronnie Stanley limited, limited both days. Marcus Williams limited full today. All right, so honestly, both of these are big news right here. So. Ronnie Stanley, back-to-back -back days limited, ramping up. The Ravens are going against Miles Garrett. The Ravens are going against uh, a Cleveland front that is um, striking fear right now in defense, right? The Cleveland defense as a whole is playing really well. And if the Ravens could get Linderbaum and Stanley back to have their O-line at 100% um, capacity, that would be huge, right? 
Um, I think that uh, if Ryan Stanley can play, Ravens definitely need him. Right? You know, it's, that's like an obvious statement. You know what I mean? Um, Miles Garrett is probably, you know, what a top three pass rusher in the league. You know, you could say that he's the, he has an argument for being the best guy in the NFL. You know what I mean? So that's not controversial to say. So they need Ronnie Stanley. Ronnie Stanley makes a lot of money. You know, things like that. Like you need your guy. You need your best guys to play. Simple as that. Um, hopefully he can. All right, so the biggest surprise, not the biggest surprise, but the best surprise, the best news is that Marcus Williams is now go from limited to full participation in practice, right? Marcus Williams, we thought we might have lost him for a large majority of the season. We thought he might have gone on IR, uh, things like that. No, he's back. I mean, what he's missed, maybe like, what, two games, I think? Marcus Williams missed two games. I think he missed the Bengals game for sure. And yeah, he missed the Colts game. So, and he might be back. Look like he's going to be back for this Browns game. So it seems like, the pet tear that he did suffer, maybe it's not as major as it was from first thought. And maybe it's more about can he manage the pain tolerance that's going to come with having that kind of injury, right? Because it's going to be about can he physically endure it, right? Um, it's great to have him back. I, I love what Geno Stone did. Geno Stone called it an interception. We know, we know he could have took it to the crib, but that's that's old news. That's a couple weeks ago now. Um, but he also played well versus the Colts again. So, Having Marcus Williams back is a big addition. Well, I hope the Ravens still find a way to get three safeties on the field so Geno Stone can get some more run and some more action. I think he's earned that. Um, so, yeah, man, uh, it's exciting news as far as the secondary potentially adding Marcus Williams back and still having Kyle Hamilton healthy. So that's great news for the Ravens as a whole. All right. Um, so I'm going to get out of here, man. Uh, I'm going I'm, I'm to get, get out of here. Thank you guys for watching. Consider hitting that subscribe button. It's Gabriel, the Fan TV.